Let's talk about failing as a developer in this video because this is one of the things which I believe is very less talked about. A lot of people don't spend a lot of time and it's not sexy to talk about failing as a developer, right? But the fact is when you start to learn, when you are learning, when you're in the process, when you're in the phase, there would be a lot of times when you would be frustrated, you would see that nothing is working this is it i mean and i don't know what to do next or it's just been too frustrating to learn and so on so there has been such phases of course in my journey as well as a developer in other realms of life as well on the business side you will also face similar things and pretty much anything which you're trying to do which is hard you will face these instances but let's talk a little bit about that what that is with my personal experiences to reflect on and what you can take away from that. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So one of the biggest things which the new people or uh, even experienced people sometimes get stuck with is the frustration part as a developer because I mean all the resources in the world sometimes it feels like all the resources in the world are available to you but you are stuck in a problem which is so unique and so horrible that nobody else can figure out the solution no resource can help you it's only you and it doesn't feel like you can also do fix that solution or you know come out of that problem now what i have understood after being stuck in such problems for a long long time and in frequency a lot of times as well is that when you are into that particular phase where you are unable to do something it's usually just related to two underlying issues the first issue is that either you have the knowledge gap that is you don't fundamentally know what needs to be done or the second issue which is probably more common is that you have confidence gap where you do know what needs to be done but sometime you just keep on trying the older stuff just because you're not confident enough or you're not comfortable enough in trying new things and let me tell you one example of this let's say you're trying to debug a javascript issue where a function is going rogue and you don't understand the behavior now you know about the debugger statement in JavaScript, you know about setting up the breakpoint and you know, you're aware about these things, setting up the breakpoint, looking in the browser, seeing step by step everything that's happening. Even if you don't know about it, you know that this exists and you can, with the help of a quick five minute YouTube video, you can learn this and get back on track. But still, you might feel comfortable with just sticking with console logs, hundreds of console logs, seeing what is going wrong with console statements, spending so much time in the console itself that you just give up on that that option of debugger which is slightly uncomfortable but requires you to have more confidence to execute that now the first point is relatively simpler to understand where you have a fundamental gap in the knowledge itself that is you know you're trying to implement a feature where you don't even understand how to do that and that part is fine technically speaking both parts are fixable but in my opinion, what I have seen is that the second part where you have a gap in the confidence or you're not confident enough, that takes very long time and it comes with, you know, experience. It comes with solving a lot of problems and it comes with confidence itself. I mean, it's, it's a little paradoxical, but your confidence to solve problems actually comes when you have the confidence to solve problems more problems and you keep on doing that over a sustained amount of time now this statement is obviously not to brag or anything but the fundamental difference which i feel between me who can solve you know relatively large amount of problems in the web development space versus let's assume you are someone who's just getting started into web development apart from the knowledge part apart from all that stuff the very fundamental difference i feel between Two of us would be that I believe that I can solve anything which is thrown at me in the web development space and this belief or this confidence is so important that I mean probably I would say like this is this is the only deciding factor between a great developer or and again please don't think that this is a bragging or anything but if you even generalize this over to a lot of other developers you will see that most senior developers or most people who can get stuff done they only do it because they know that they can get stuff done right whatever you throw at them 
they know that they can handle it any sort of problem it's not just one particular thing so developing that confidence is super important to not fail as a developer or not fail on a daily or a recurring basis and get out of that frustration hell and that happens because you either have a fundamental knowledge gap or like i said you're just in your comfort zone and, and it's just true right a lot of people just want to stay in their comfort zone so you have to be willing to learn the new techniques practice the new things and get on with the new trends of uh, whatever something which you have not discovered before in order to gain confidence another thing which seems fascinating to me is the fact that people give up on programming i mean for me giving up on programming was never really an option because i wasn't doing it for the sake of doing it or as a competitive sport for me programming was fun right and you don't really give up on fun right if you take a look at your life and consider like two three activities where you have the most fun like going for a ride or you know playing video games or so on it would be stupid to think about like giving up on that right what what does it even mean similarly for me my personal journey my personal experience with programming is that it was always fun to build something right out of code out of thin air i mean you just have an idea in your mind you know a scripting language suddenly after 5 or 10 days of coding and doing all that sort of stuff somebody's on the other side of the planet is able to use a product you coded they are smiling they are clicking buttons they are writing on the keyboard it looks beautiful or whatever it is so this sort of stuff actually was really fun for me it really motivated me internally to you know just build my knowledge on top of that to see what else is possible but a lot of people actually and i'm not saying that these are wrong motives to get into programming but they actually come into programming world to get jobs or you know get an internship or make quick money or do freelancing none of them which is wrong as per se right it's completely fine to learn programming to make money you got to pay bills and all but the only thing which i'm saying over here is that if your motive somehow was to learn programming because it's fun it would be much easier to actually become an expert or a master and go through these hard days the hard phases where you and it seems like everything is working against you compared to when you have a rigid strict goal of making money with coding it's like how novel also says it in its one of his podcast where he mentions that it's always a good idea to pick something which seems like work to others but play to you and that is exactly the thing you want programming to be if you want to be a great developer and if you want to build a healthy career in that it should come as play to you it's not the only thing which is a make or break factor but if that is there then in most cases you can safely assume that you are on the path of becoming a good developer and the final thing which i want to also mention while we are at it is a lot of people try to judge themselves all all the time that is if you're not able to learn something new or you know if you don't understand it your immediate first reaction is that i'm stupid right or you know i'm probably someone who's not able to learn programming it's too difficult for me and a lot less people think about that hey it is possible that this particular thing which i'm learning is fundamentally difficult for the majority of the audience right that's why there are not a lot of great programmers in the world there are millions probably tens and hundreds of millions of developers but probably not more than a few hundred thousand developers who are actually top notch right and even among them a few only a few tens of thousand people who are actually like you know people who know their stuff who know how to do real real stuff so what you have to realize is that you should not judge yourself in a way that you sh- it, it should not be about you are the one who's the you know bottleneck or who's the weak end but it's more about the thing which you're learning because when you judge yourself especially in early in your journey what you create is a mental model where if something doesn't work out or if something is difficult it's more about that you are the one who's the bottleneck 
compared to the topic which you're learning or the resource from which you're consuming it from or the guidance which you're getting and plus i mean it's obviously free stress so you don't want free stress on yourself the best way to do that is to have a mindset where you give yourself a lot of room to experiment and play with and i mean don't judge yourself on a daily or on a weekly basis judge yourself on a monthly or a quarterly or a yearly basis see how much progress you have made how better of a developer you have become but yeah i mean don't judge yourself on bad days that's the punchline don't judge yourself on the bad days so yep that's another episode of me talking to you through a random phone screen and figuring out this might be a helpful conversation for some of you out there let me know in the comments what you think about this topic again a sensitive topic not something which a lot of people talk about so excited to hear your viewpoints on this as well that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching